I don't know. Is it on? I don't know. I don't know how to work this. Maybe. <laughs> it looked like it. I don't. I don't know. I see myself. There's a little, little red light blinking over there in the corner. Yeah, do you think it's on? It is? <laughs> okay, it's on then. Hey, hey, this here, brother, beautiful chat one. Missionary to Hoboken, Georgia, pastor of beautiful Baptist in Hoboken, Georgia. Now, I want to come bring this message to you guys today and wish y'all pastor, brother Michael Landon, a very, very happy birthday, 75, I understand. He's getting old and a happy anniversary and all, being at the church so long. And uh, But I, I happy anniversary, brother my Happy birthday. Love you. Love you, love you, love you. I will sing to you, but Lou Ann said my voice ain't what it used to be, so I'm not going to do that today. <laughs> That'll be a blessing. But I have another reason that I... I made this video for y'all today. And and what it is, is I realize that some of you good folk at Bible Baptist Church has heard the vicious, vicious rumors coming out of Hoboken, Georgia about dear old brother Buford. And I'm here to tell you folk that it's vicious gossip is what it is. And you know, gossip is directly against the Bible. Now, let me tell you what happened. All right, see, a couple of the deacons at Buford Baptist had done, uh, accused Brother Buford, accused me of double dipping in the offering plate. What? It hurts my heart. It really do. Yeah, every now and then maybe, but you know, Luann liked to shop. She go down to the Dollar General every now and then and get her a dress or two or three or four. And, you know, the price adds up. You got to pay your bills somehow. But, and I always thought, you know, God's money, God's man, is not the same, I guess. But they didn't see it the way I saw it. So they have asked Brother Buford to step down. Uh, and so... I haven't yet because I always like to have a job before I leave a job. You know, I think that's a good practice. And you young folk take that to note now because that's a good practice. Don't leave a job until you got one. I always believe, though, if the Lord slams one door open, he swings another one open. If he slams one door shut, he opens another one. That's what I meant to say. It didn't come out that way, but that's what I meant to say. So, hey. Give me just one second. I'll be right back. <laughs> I got something I got to do. I'll be right back. It nature calls. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> that reminds me of George right there. <laughs> I got a picture of him on my desk. I would like to talk to y'all about something else today, too. Um, I hear that Brother Mike has had some heart problems here lately. He had a heart attack. Oh, my goodness. That hurts old Brother Buford's heart, too. Because me and Brother Mike, we, we go way back, what, 80s? Late 80s, early 90s? I can't even remember how long it's been. But ever since then, me and Brother Mike have been like that. Just like that, we tight. And I love you, Brother Mike. Don't let anybody else tell you different. Brother Buford love you, Brother Mike. So, what I'd like to say here today, though, is I heard what an upstanding man, Brother Jeff Miller, has, has been in this, in this situation. I heard that when Brother Mike went down ill, Brother Jeff has stepped up and led the church on for the Lord. He has. And that is so admirable. I, I appreciate you so much, Brother Jeff. I do. And everybody loves them from Brother Jeff. They do. You ask anybody on the street corner anywhere, you say, you love Brother Jeff Miller? They say, I love Brother Jeff Miller. 
Because he a lovable guy. He is. And Brother Buford loves you too, Brother Jeff. I love you. Don't you forget it. And but listen, what I'd like to propose here today is let me let me say this. Brother Jeff is a ministry director. He a ministry director. See, he's not an assistant pastor. He'll be the first one to tell you that. he you say, you you an assistant pastor? He'll say, no, I'm a ministry director. That's what Brother Jeff will tell you. And so what I got to thinking about is Brother Mike needs an assistant pastor. Bible Baptist Church needs an assistant pastor. So who better? Old Brother Buford. You know, I, I told you earlier, I don't like leaving a job before I get another job. But time's running short in Hoboken. And I'd like to kind of maybe step into that role for you get, for your people at Bible Baptist Church. Because I love you folks. You know, I've been knowing y'all for years and years and years. And who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? Brother Buford Chandler, assistant pastor of Bible Baptist Church. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because, you know, when the situation arose in Hoboken, Georgia, like it did, I said, you know, me and Lou Ann, we talked about it at length the other night, and we have prayed, and we fasted, and we believe that that's what the Lord would have us to go. Bible Baptist Church in Brother Georgia. That's right. So, uh, the only thing is, I, I'm going to need a nice office. You know, and Brother Mike, he has a nice office. And I wouldn't, believe, I wouldn't dream of taking his, his office, because he's already established as the main pastor and all. But, you know, the assistant pastor needs to be close to the pastor. And the closest office that I see is Brother Jeff's office. And Brother Jeff is a ministry director. And Brother Jeff, I don't want to be that guy that, you know, comes in and rearranges everything, but you're going to have to move to another office somewhere else in the church. What does a ministry director actually need? I mean, one, two books at the most, maybe a calendar, really. You know, because... Uh, a ministry director. A director says, you go over there and do that. Or, or you, you go over there and you do that. That's what a director do. He directs. See, that's what a director do. He directs. An assistant pastor, could you, could you just imagine having me as your assistant director? No, no, no. Not assistant director. I slipped right there. Don't you hold that against me. Assistant pastor. That way, you know, if Brother Mike goes sick again, then you already got a man in waiting. Brother Jeff, he don't have to think no more. He don't have to prepare no sermons. He don't have to pray. He don't have to do nothing. He just come and he direct people there and there. And everything's all peachy and roses. That's the way I see it, uh, at least. Let me talk about one more thing before I go. Um, uh, money. You know, I don't like to talk about money. I don't like to talk about money when it comes to the Lord's work. But, you know, I think it would be only fair if I got probably what the preacher gets, Brother Mike. I think, you know, or maybe maybe a little more than that because Lou, Lou Ann, she like to shop. She do. And, you know, I like to pay my bills. And when Lou Ann shop, <laughs> there's a lot of bills. <laughs> but, uh. Well, anyway, I love you good folk at Bible Baptist Church, and I can't wait to hear from you, and I'm hoping that I hear from you very, very soon because time is growing short in Hoboken, Georgia for me. So uh, y'all call me quick, and I'll be there as soon as Wednesday night. I will. Bye -bye. And I love you. Mwah. Ready to preach Wednesday night. <laughs> yes, sir. Bye-bye.